I ha I'm originally from South Africa. I'm an, a fiber artist. I teach uh, sewing as well as art at a nonprofit in town. Since COVID hit in February, we have been basically shut down. Um, and that's propelled me to start to make masks because I've had a lot of nurses write to me back then saying, we need masks, can you help? And they all sent me patterns. And I am going to show you how to make a very effective cloth face mask. Um, anyone can make this. I actually have a PDF online that's public. And if someone wants to have step-by-step -step instructions, it's available with photos. First, you're gonna have 100% cotton and 100% flannel. Um, this comes to the recommendation of Dr. Regina King, who said, we, we want cotton and flannel, it catches most particles. And you want to cut both of these pieces identical to be six inches by nine inches wide. This is six inches here and nine there. And you are going to take, I usually take four pins and I pin my corners. And then after you pin them, ta-da! So you can see on the back actually easily, there's my four pins. And now you're going to sew it all the way around, but you're gonna leave an opening because we're gonna turn it inside out. And for speedy sake, I did one. So I sewed this and I'm gonna show you on the back because then you can see the sewing lines. Now before I turn it inside out, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna chop off my corners. And I don't cut into the sewing, but just the, the stitches, just right before the stitches, I trim those corners so that when I turn it inside out and I have a little paintbrush that I like to use and my paintbrush helps me to get those corners nice and 90% sharp like that. Here we go. So we have this opening right here. It's going to naturally fall in the seam to meet each other. So right there where it falls in, I will put a pin in to hold it shut. And then the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in two pleats. So I start, I'm gonna do it this way and then I'll flip it around. I start here and I pinch it and it's like an inch wide here and I fold it over like that. You know, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to just suffice because you want it you want, once someone puts it on their face, it will open up. And so here's my first pleat. And then I'm going to do another little one. And after having made hundreds and hundreds of these masks, I pretty much can make this in my sleep now. So here we go. Ta-da! So after you sew it all the way around, it's going to look like this. So see how it's kind of, that's all sewn shut. But there you go, here's my two straps. And I'm just gonna find the middle of each strap. There it is. And then I will pin it right down here. And sew at the end with a zigzag stitch. And I'll be sure to do a really good, um, not stitch like a double stitch in the beginning and the end so that it won't unravel and that it will last through many many washes <laughs> so here you go and then you can just tie it on now what i like about these masks i hope you can hear me talking through this mask there we go tie them on so what's nice is it doesn't pinch my ears because it goes around my head and when I get in my car, I can just hang it around my neck like a little scarf. And then when I get back in public, just hook it over your nose and your ears. And there you go. Um, so it's, you know, fashionable. <laughs>